is with Buck Martinez. Dan. Jamie, one of the weaknesses of the Blue Jays team last year has been a strength so far this season. Hunjin Ryu is on the mound today against Washington, and once through the rotation, the numbers are awfully good. Boy, it's been pretty promising when you look at the five-man rotation first time through, and Hunjin Ryu made the start down in Tampa Bay, and he opened things up. Matt Shoemaker was terrific over six innings. Trent Thornton had a little bit of a mixed start, but Tanner Rourke backed it up against his former team, and how about the Major League debut of Nate Pearson last night? Five innings, no runs. Ryu in Tampa didn't have his real good stuff. He didn't have great command, and he's a command and finesse pitcher. But he was encouraged at moments the way he could get some swings and misses on pitches off the plate. The key to his success is throwing the strikes in the zone with all of his pitches and get that change up in the mix. Today he will face a team that he beat last year in the National League Division Series in Game 3 right here in Washington's ballpark. So it's going to be a familiar scene for Ryu today. Have a couple of really good starts against the Nationals during the regular season as well. He's hoping to give the Blue Jays a little bit more length in his second start of the season today. And Dan, since we might have a Blue Jay free weekend, you might want to enjoy this one. Might be the last game we see for a little while. It's the Blue Jays and the Nationals next on Sportsnet. Check out the starting lineup for the visitors. Remember, the Blue Jays are the home team again, so the starting lineup for the Nationals. Brought to you by TD, proud fan and official bank of the Toronto Blue Jays. Adam Eaton's gotten on base in every game so far this year. And he has been a thorn in the Blue Jays' sides. He is swinging the bat well. They're dangerous at the top with Turner and Eaton, professional hitter in the middle in Cabrera. And yes, that is Josh Harrison, the former Pirate, who was in Philly's camp, was released and signed by the Nationals. Jin Ryu make the start here this afternoon, his second start of the season. And we mentioned his start against Tampa Bay. Last year, he was 14-5 and five with a 232 earned run average. He just didn't have real good command, and he knows he has to make better pitches this time out. And, and I think the real key was the walks. He had three walks in that outing. He just doesn't walk anybody. So look for him to be in the strike zone more often, even though he has faced the Nash defense for the Blue Jays. And in the outfield, it's Gurriel to Oscar Hernandez in the center. Derek Fisher still no Randall Gritchick, who left the game on Sunday in Tampa Bay. Good news is, though, they got the shortstop back. Obichet has missed all three games in this series in Washington. As well, leading off with his buddies Biggio, Guriel, and Guerrero hitting 2-3-4. Rowdy Tellez at first base today. Teoscar Hernandez off to a good start this year. Playing center field again. And then Fisher, Jansen, and Drury rounding out the lineup. Blue Jays will get their first look at Eric Fetty. He is filling in as Dan Manchin in the spot of Steven Strasburg. Second time he's made a start in Strasburg's spot this season. In his first start, he actually pitched pretty well. Four innings at three strikeouts. He walked about it. He gave up one home run, and home runs have been a problem for him as a starter. He's given up 10 home runs in 60 and a third innings as a starter. He's pitched much more effectively as a relief pitcher, and that's eventually where he will pitch.